Like and subscribe to my channel and click the bell icon to get new video updates. $6 billion sale of commanders would break record for most expensive sports team purchase in U.S. history. The Washington Commanders will reportedly be sold to billionaire hedge fund manager Josh Harris for a staggering $6 billion, a price that would break the record for the highest-priced sports team sale in U.S. history. The Commanders will reportedly be sold soon to be at the top. We take a refreshing look at the 10 most expensive sports team sales Washington Commanders, $6 billion Snyder S 24-year tenure as Commanders owner, can only be viewed as a failure, his leadership resulted in the team constantly struggling and settling almost permanently at the bottom of the NFC East, and the NFL found that it fostered a dysfunctional workplace that was actively hostile to women. He has driven out one of the most dedicated fan bases in football, visibly diminishing the value of his franchise, and will still walk away from the NFL with a cool $6 billion Denver Broncos $4. The Broncos only sat at the top of that list for 10 months, before being pushed back to number 2. Phoenix Suns and Phoenix Mercury $4 billion. Word, demean female employees in his language and behavior, made inappropriate jokes about sex, and was overly harsh on many employees. An NBA investigation found these allegations to be valid, and he was fined and suspended for a year. While the discipline did not commit Sarver to selling the Suns and Mercury, he did announce his intention to sell a few days after the investigative report was released. Billionaire Matt Ishbia bought both teams from Sarver in December 2022. New York Mets $2. It wasn't he long after Fred Wilpin bought the Mets outright in 2002 that fans began to resent the team's leadership. And when it was revealed in 2008 that Wilpin and his son Jeff had lost hundreds of millions of dollars in Bernie Madoff's Ponzi scheme, Fans began clamoring for new owners. Steve Cohen, by far the wealthiest owner in MLB, fulfilled fans' dreams 12 years later when he bought the team in 2020, and just three years later the Mets are the highest peril in MLB. Brooklyn. 